everyone, welcome to another episode of Wine Wednesday here from Epic Production Stages and Expendables Plus Inc. My name is Marie and this is our co-host Vince. Hello. And this week's episode is The Weird and Unusual. <laughs> so here during the time of warm weather, people gather outside, people go away together on road trips. So we have some weird and unusual questions that you can share with your friends. That's what we're going to do now. You know, kind of like a game. A fun game, joke like, around. Out around. of it, yeah. While you're having drinks, while you're out for dinner, while you're out on a road trip, Get to use find it. out how weird your friends really are. Yeah, or how weird you are when your friends are actually looking at you while you're asking so, so many weird questions, right? If you can add a word to the dictionary, what would it be? And what would it mean? There's a word I use quite often with a couple of my friends. The word is called foofy. I what does it mean? I spell it F-U-F-E. And it's like, the only way I could describe it is like somebody who's absent-minded, a little dim-witted. That's maybe. a very, that's a very, very but sweet way. But it's in way. a playful way of okay. saying it. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many words out there that people just make up and then you just what would be your word? Oh, for me, it would be magnifico. Magnifico? Yes. Okay. And what would it mean? It would be like everything is fine. Oh, yeah, you're magnifico today. Yeah, I'm magnifico. Everything. If we could just use it for everything, that would be it. I know can why you, not. Can you spell it? Magnifico? Yes. How would you spell it? Do you want me to spell it now? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Oh, I didn't make it up. You did. <laughs> M A N. F-A-N-I-C-O. Magnifico. Yeah. I'm on my way to a spelling bee. <laughs> I know that word would, would annoy the hell out of everybody. Yeah, <laughs> if probably. I can say it. I feel like I could hear something like that. Maybe if I like a hairdresser or something. Yeah. Sounds like a word they would use. Yeah, if we go to the bank teller, right? Would you like 20 or 50? Magnifico. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, right? think, I think that will drive me a little nuts here and there. Yeah, that would be really, really cool. So I have one for you. Okay. If you have furniture and okay. it sprang to life like Beauty and the Beast furniture in the movie, yes. Which piece of furniture in your house would kind of creep you out it being alive? I would think my coffee table really? because it, it has my junk drawers and I don't know what's in there and I don't. So want it has secrets in it. It has a bunch of crappy stuff in there. So <laughs> it would be like, why are you putting this stuff in me? What about okay. you? I would say. The microwave Why? because of the fact that all the stuff that you wind up cooking in it and stuff after a while too and when like people don't clean it they would get yeah. smelly not only really that it's a very powerful machine so <laughs> i think that's one of the things i would kind of fear yeah but that's like the best best thing in our household we put everything in there yeah but exactly How Look you at the car where you got. i mean it's not like the couch is gonna come after you're gonna it's scared. not gonna work on you you're gonna want to sit on it it's gonna be relaxing the comfy couch remember that show yeah that was a creepy, <laughs> a creepy couch I, it looked like it swallowed kids in there yeah. but anyhow we're not gonna talk about sofas right now but that, that's a good thing that's a good thing for me it's just my coffee my coffee table i throw everything in there there's okay. candles there's keys there's like literally every tax tax papers so it's everything version of a junk drawer yeah and it's a beautiful table too so kind of weird it would freak to life and be like yeah. what the hell <laughs> okay so i have a question for you if your best friend will write a book about you what would the title be oh man i think the first thing that pops in your head is it's complicated. To describe you as a person? Describe me in a book, yeah. It probably okay. would be complicated. But that would be the same thing almost, right? Yeah. Right? I would say. Why? Because I have a lot of layers that people would have to go through. Like it's so an onion. Think, I think, well, I guess <laughs> an onion as well. So I would think a book would be a perfect fitting to But this, this would be a, a really good friend that can literally describe you as a person. Because, yeah. you know, if somebody would write a book about me and don't know me well, I'd be, I'd be really upset if that would happen. Well, I would like to see the uh, another person's perspective of what Of course, I of might course. It's like looking at a mirror, but you know, in somebody else's eyes. Yeah, it's the mirror talking or to somebody, you. Or somebody else's handwriting, because yeah. they would be writing a book about you. What about you? For me, it would be, um, oh my god. I never thought about it. That's like a really difficult question. I think it would be more of, um, you know, non caring. Non-caring? Non-caring? I do care. That would be care. interesting. I tell, I tell that to people when I go on dates. 
that you don't care? Why, why are you single? I just don't care for people. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm still single. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you need to read a different book. <laughs> okay. So, so, I have another interesting one. Okay. If you were to be named after one of our 50 states, what state would you like to have a name of? Oh my god, I have I have quite a few. Uh, the, most of the states in the United States are have beautiful names. And I think I will pick Montana. Montana. It's a strong, yet powerful, beautiful women's name. Yeah, and you have the rapper who has it as his last name. Oh, so yeah, to totally speak. forgot it. I so thought it was only for women. You'll, yeah, have, you'll start off with a little bit of street credit. Right? On top of that. I love the name Montana. How about for you? Honestly, I do like the name New York, but it does feel, to me, it feels a little bit girly. Okay. So I would either do Texas. Texas sounds like a. Very strong. Name, but the reason with Texas that I would kind of be iffy about is that it's, I feel like you can make a lot of jokes with the word Texas. Oh. And then, so. Yes. It'll be a give and take on that one. <laughs> yes, that's I will have true. to worry a little bit. It's a really, really good name though. It's it's kind of powerful. It's like everything yeah. is big in Texas. Yeah. So you're open for a lot of things, even jokes. Okay, so if you were if you were a candy, what type of candy would she be? Oh man. Um I would think I would go with Snickers. Okay. Because of the slogan. Okay. Works very well with me. When I'm hungry, I'm not myself. Okay. As well as the caramel colors close pretty close with my skin. Okay. The chocolate I would say because I'm a little bit You're sweet. not being yourself today, so you have me to have and a then With the nuts, hey, everyone's a little bit Sounds naughty. like a pretty good candy to me. Yeah. I am not a big candy person, so I would just have to say the candy I used to eat as a kid, and that would be a Tootsie Roll. Chocolate Tootsie Rolls. Okay. So it was my favorite, but yeah, I'm not big on candy. So if you had one food that you had to pick for the rest of your life to eat, and only that one food, what would it be? I would have french fries and add anything to it. French fries with... Grilled chicken, cheese, macaroni and cheese, bacon, you name it. I could go on and on and on. How about for you? Um, well, you wouldn't be able to have any of those additional things. Not it's even just, ketchup? It's just the one food. Yeah, Would I'll you have still say with that choice? Yep, okay. I love french fries. Oh, man. Me? I think I would do spaghetti. You eat spaghetti for the rest of your life? Yeah, I think I can. Well, that's a pretty I don't good get choice. Tired of it at all. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Since I can't add anything to my French fries, are you gonna have spaghetti by itself? By itself. Really? Yeah, by itself. Oh my god. I know. Just be fun to play with on top of that. No butter, no sauce. It's fine. Oh wow. Just, just boiled spaghetti. That's a good choice. Okay, so <laughs> to our last question: If you would be a drink, what type of drink would you be? Um. Although we love wine, we do. We drink it all the time. I would have to go with my favorite drink, even though I might not be able to drink myself. But just the fact that I know I'll be this drink and it's a fun. Oh my god! It's a, it's a drink that represents. I just picture you a little cup with a little, little straw. Well, at least thank you that it's a little cup, and not a big one. Um, oh, you forgetting the umbrella? Maybe. Oh, yes. Um, I would say a pina colada. Okay, that's it's a good a drink. drink. That, like, represents so many different things. Everywhere you go, you can find it. Yeah. Yeah, and I got it. That's a good. Do you choice. have? Yes, a frozen margarita. Okay. Lemon frozen margarita. I love margaritas. You're gonna be tequila in it up. Yeah. The whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be. I'll be a frozen margarita. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody loves margaritas as much as they love. Pina coladas. Yeah, I think so we got the two top So we're gonna be there. really good with french fries and margarita. And spaghetti and... French fries. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's kind of tough. <laughs> so we have come to the end of this episode. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope we had a good time watching this episode. Do not forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Comment, share, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Till next time, do not forget to have some wine while you have some weird and unusual questions with your friends. Cheers to you. We'll see you soon. Bye.